fitting that my dogs decided to bark <laughs> as soon as I cross live, right? Only fitting. But um, just a random Monday night live, I felt like painting one of my little Easter crate sets um, and figured I'd film it. Why not? Um, so that when you order your very own little DIY Easter crate set, you've got a video to come back and look at if you want to. So I hope y'all are doing fabulous on this Monday evening. Um, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so I don't know if you guys have any plans. Um, we're not doing any like big deal or anything, but uh, like I said, I just wanted to paint my little de decorative Easter crate set and thought I might as well come on here and do it live. Um, I know 6.45 is kind of a random time, too, um, that you're probably getting dinner or handling things with kids, if you got kids at home, that sort of thing. So obviously you can watch on a rewatch. Um, but let me just point out what my Easter decorative crate set is. So you get three items that can go inside of a crate. If you look at the picture on the website, there's a link to this video that'll take you there. Um, you got a little crate that it can set it. It's kind of like a tear tray decor, but it's just a little, um, not as much stuff, right? You gotta have more stuff for a tear tray. So this is just an example um, of one of my crate decor sets, and this is our Easter one. So you can see this adorable little framed sign. Now none of the pieces are attached right now, so that's what's gonna make it easy to paint. I'm gonna paint them different colors and then glue them together. So it'll make the DIY easy. So you get these three pieces, a cute little board here that has you pick five cents. You said they're not glued on, so we'll get to put them on after we paint them, little carrots there. And a cute little bunny trail sign. So you get those three things plus the sign that goes on the front of the crate, which says Happy Easter. Obviously, like I said, not glued on, so we'll be able to paint them two different colors and then glue it together. And this would hang on the front of the crate. So there's a link on the video if you want to go and order yourself one after we're done here. Um, or if you want to see all my crate decor sets, just go to the website, julieswoodcrafts.com, and type crate in the search bar, and it'll pull up all of them. So, because we've got summer ones, um... We got obviously Christmas, fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, um, Valentine's, I'm trying to remember, summer. Oh, I have a patriotic one too. Um, I'm surely forgetting one of them. But there are a lot of cute ones. This is maybe my favorite. Um, I'm going to do this one in a little bit different colors than what you'll see if you look at the one on the website. So I got some colors picked out here. And I'm not going to paint the whole thing live, um, but I thought I would paint some so we get an idea. So I think I was going to start with painting this one since it's kind of the most detailed. All right, so come and craft with me. Let's see, what did I decide I was going to do? I picked out all the colors beforehand and then of course I won't remember. But, okay, I know I was going to leave the frame wood colored, so I wasn't going to paint that at all. Let me pull up the video here so I can check if anybody comments. I can keep up with the going ons, maybe. There we go. All right, um, so I think I was going to do turquoise back and yellow words, and then a white bunny. Does that sound right? Or did I wanna do a gray bunny? I'll decide that. I will decide that in a minute. First, I'm gonna start by doing the turquoise 
back of it. And it's got these little lines etched into it for the words farms, open daily, hop on in. So I'm going to decide after I paint it turquoise if I just want to leave those like they are or if I want to use one of my Posca paint markers and trace over them. Um, so I've got some options, but I'm going to start by just painting this turquoise. Um, these are my usual paints. Anita's acrylic craft paint. This one's called light turquoise and I love it. And what I think is great about these DIY sets is they really are easy. I call them a kitchen table craft because I feel like you can just sit down at your kitchen table and be done with it and not too long, you know, but the time you're doing it, it's easy because the pieces are separate. You're not having to do like crazy detailed painting or anything. Um, and for me, I like it because it just kind of shuts out the rest of the world, my life right now, right? Like you get like one hour or however long you're going to sit down and craft and just not worry about anything else and just paint. And I will say if you think, oh, I can't do it, you know, mine won't look as good as yours, that sort of thing. Well, that's why I do the videos with some tips. I love these simple little wood handled foam brushes. I always um, am careful when I'm painting that I go towards the edges so that I don't, the edges don't like catch a lot of paint and it gets all uh, stuck around the edges. All right, first coat done. I'm going to go over it so it's kind of got all like similar brush strokes because sometimes I like just doing one coat. You know, I feel like it looks good with just one coat. All right, so we'll see how that one looks when it dries, but there's the turquoise color. I just love that. It looks bluer in the video. It's got a little more green, like turquoise to it here. All right, let's do our cottontail and carrot patch yellow. I also might decide to dry brush it um, with a little bit of white maybe to give it some texture. I don't know. We'll see. We've got options. The other thing you can do if you don't like painting the small words um, or any of the smaller pieces is Posca is a fabulous paint pen brand. You can pick them up on Amazon. Um, they've got colors too. So like you can even use your colored paint marker and do um, the words here. I don't mind doing the paint, so I'm just going to do um, painting on it. But those paint pens are totally a great option. I use them for a lot of things. I think this is a good Easter yellow. I forgot to mention what color it is. It's called Sunshine Yellow. Hey Pete, what you doing buddy? Hi, hi. <laughs> it just needs to be where the action is, you know? A little goopy strings on here. Sometimes the paint has what I refer to as paint boogers. So you're going to get those off. But I love this yellow. It's a great little Easter yellow. I don't know why it's called sunshine yellow. To me, it's not nearly bright enough to be called sunshine yellow. 
not the name I would have picked for it. Alright, let's get a little more, because mostly what I have there is paint boogers. So I've got an entire line of these DIY crate decors. Um, the great thing about them is you can buy the little crate that it sits in. You can buy that one time, you get the pieces and just a little hot glue or wood glue. Um, and you've got yourself a little crate. I like to put crinkle paper down on the bottom, like cut crinkle paper, um, just to kind of give it some, um, something in the bottom for the signs to sit down on. But um, you buy the crate once and then you can buy the different seasonal inserts. So you don't need to buy the crate again. You just get the crate one time, crate's only $11. Um, and then you just buy the different seasons and themes. So after the Easter one, if you're ready to put in the summer one, um, or if you wanna put in, I have a coffee theme and a wine theme. Oh, a happy camper theme if you're a camping person. Um, so there's all sorts of like seasonal versus also just like thematic ones. Like I said, if you've got a coffee bar, I have an adorable coffee set and it's small enough that it fits well on a kitchen counter, um, on a server, on your coffee bar, that sort of thing. All right. And then we were going to do our bunny. And I was trying to decide if I was going to do him white or gray. Because I think I want to do his tail yellow. So it matches the word. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking a white bunny. Mm, maybe a gray bunny. And then I can do his little pads on his feet white. Because you see those laser etched outlines for the feet. So that would be a good way to use one of my paint markers. I could do the little pads of his feet white. That's a good plan. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to have a gray bunny. And then we can decide if we want to do his little tail white or if we want to do it yellow. I'm thinking white now that I'm going to do the pads of his feet white. If you are a subscriber to my craft kit of the month or you ordered the one for this month, even if you're not a subscriber, you should have gotten it in the mail um, or picked it up from the pickup spot at our workshop at my house. Um, I know I've got maybe two left that I haven't picked up yet. Um, that's still sitting in the pickup bucket on my front porch, which is fine. Come by when you can. I am going to do our live paint for our craft kit of the month. It's our um, shamrock that says feeling lucky. So it's our St. Patty's Day door hanger. And I'm going to do that live paint on Wednesday morning um, about 11 a.m. And I do all my live paints for the craft kit of the month in the Julie's Woodcrafts DIY Divas Facebook group. So if you click at the top of the Julie's Woodcrafts page, click to join the group. A ton of you are already in it, so you also don't have to join it. You're already in it. Um, but that's how you get to see the uh, paint live videos for the craft kit of the month. All right, there's my cute little gray bunny. I'm gonna let him dry so that I can draw his little feetsies in there. Um, hey buddy. My little dog Pete's still hiding under the table. Yeah, you're just hiding under the table, buddy. Might need to go potty. He's probably trying to tell me he needs to go potty. We'll see if he can hold it. All right. Trying to decide if I want to do like a dry brush technique on this turquoise backer. I'm 
just gives it kind of like a distressed look. If I were to do some dry brush paint, hmm. I'm kind of feeling like that might be cute if I do that. If we dry brush it with a little bit of white, maybe. Do I even have a good dry brush brush in here? Let's see. will work just fine. Yeah, I think that'd be cute. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna dry brush it with some white. Okay. <laughs> so, I did a video um, earlier, I guess last week, um, in my DIY Divas Facebook group about dry brushing. This is going to be a very, very simple dry brushing. I mean, obviously we're just doing this tiny little piece here. So you get any brush. This one's a small one because I'm dealing with a small piece. If I were doing a bigger piece, I'd want a bigger um, bristly brush here. You get a little bit of paint on the end. And then you're going to dab off. Really, it'll feel like you're dabbing off all the paint. You will feel like there's nothing left on your brush and then you are going to lightly swipe it over. Okay, I really did dab off too much. <laughs> However, you'd rather, much rather dab off too much than not enough. So with a light hand, I'm going to go back and forth here. just to give it some good dimension. Right, so you can see here, it looks like a, a lot heavier handed in the video than it does in person. But if you ever feel like you overdid it, like, oh, you know, I put too much white on, you can go back with the base color, which is the turquoise, dry brush that back over. So I'm dabbing off as much as I can again. And if I'm worried that I went a little heavy in spots, then I'm gonna dry brush back over with a little bit of this turquoise, and it just kind of takes the pop out of the white. Like you felt like you did it a little bit too heavy handed with the white. There we go. I think I'm pretty happy with that. It is going to dry here in a second because, you know, we use such a little paint when we're dry brushing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the water. There we go, because I'm done with that brush. And I am done with the turquoise brush now since I'm not putting any more on there, so I'm putting that one in the water. But there's kind of our distressed sort of look. Let me put the little frame pieces on it. Right, not that they're glued on, obviously. But that's the idea. It just gives it a little dimension once we get our words put on here. Um, it's going to look really, really Cute. So, speaking of words, let's get back to our yellow words and put 
put some more coats on there. You just hanging out, Pete? Are you just hanging out with me? <laughs> Should turn here, we can see Pete a little better. Here you go, buddy, right here. <laughs> Pete is our sweet newest pup that we have. We've had him, we got him last April though, but um, he's a rescue, like pit bull, American bulldog, something like that. He's adorable, but also full of energy, super clingy. <laughs> Very needy, right, Pete? But he's adorable, so it makes it a little bit easier. And he's super sweet. He just loves his people. Love this light yellow. It is going to look so great against that turquoise. So there you can see we've got our little words painted here. Um, I'm going to do, you know what? I don't. I don't think I am going to do another coat of gray on our bunny. I don't think he needs it. So I'm going to put my gray brush in the water. Then I'm going to get out my paint marker. in a good shape. Like I said, the brand is Posca. You can find them on Amazon. And that's what I'm going to use inside of my little bunny feet to color in there. I'm just like coloring inside the lines. Super easy to do with the little paint markers. And I don't know. So cute. Little face. Now I'm going to go ahead, since I've already got the white paint marker, I'm just going to color in his tail too. I could have used the white paint when I had the white paint out for dry brushing, but I did not. So I'm just going to color in his little tail here with my paint marker. So you can see how these paint markers would totally be an option for you if you wanted to do the words and stuff with paint markers like I just did the little tail with paint markers. So they are a great option. So that's where our little bunny's going to look like with his little tail on there. Alright, does anything else for our little sign need painting? Alright, let me throw it together here. I don't have anything glued. In fact, I didn't even bring the glue into the craft room with me right now. It's out in my workshop. Um, so, I won't be gluing in this video, but I want to decide... what I'm going to do about the words.
Pete, what did you find? Oh, something to chew on, didn't you? A little piece of plastic. Of course he did. Of course he did. So, like I said, nothing is glued on yet, but it gives you an idea. And so, I've got these lines etched for the word farms, open daily, hop on in. Uh, I'm not sure how easy it is to see it in the video there, but I'm just trying to decide, do I want to leave them just etched like this, or do I want to take my paint marker and just go right along the lines, use them as kind of a... A trace and I think I like it like it is actually without going back over it I'm not sure I want those words any bolder I really just kind of like the way it is so that is one third of I'm trying to make sure I don't fall off because I'm glued it here but that's one third of my um, Happy Easter crate set, right? Done, right there. Didn't even take us that long. Um, I just need to glue it together. I use wood glue. You can use hot glue. For me, hot glue dries too fast and I like, can't, it's too much pressure to get it on there and get it stuck right where you want it to, right? Wood glue doesn't dry as quick, so it gives you a little bit more time. So I'm gonna use wood glue to attach that. I'm gonna go with the same color schemes when I do the next two pieces. Of course, my carrots are gonna be orange. Um, I will probably leave this back or wood so it'll match the frame there. And then I'm thinking the sign here is going to be a combination of the yellow and the turquoise. And then here we'll probably have gray and a turquoise back, yellow words, and I'll leave the arrow wood too just to kind of tie like each piece has some wood. Um, so I'm going to finish those up over the, over the next day or two, maybe even tonight. Um, if I feel like finishing them up tonight and um, I'll post a picture but there should be a link with the video if you want to grab one of our happy Easter crate sets they are fun obviously simple just a couple little bottles of craft paint um, and some wood glue they are $25 for the set um, and that's everything you see here plus $11 for the crate um, but like I said you buy the crate once and then you can buy different seasonal inserts and just switch them out. So, um, anyways, I think that's it. Pretty soon I'm gonna be trying to do more of these live paint videos, live craft videos, and I'll start doing deals for commenting and sharing, um, tagging a friend, those sort of things. So, um, thank you if you watched today. Say hello, even on a rewatch, I would appreciate it. And, um, like I said, I'm gonna pretty soon be starting to do like some uh, giveaways or coupons for like half off, you know, that sort of thing um, for liking or tagging a friend, things like that, right? Um, so we can have more of us enjoy this crafty fun together. So um, keep watching and keep crafting. I'll see you later. Happy Monday. Bye.